Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight to Roll. And I'm back with another pick a card reading for you guys. And this time around, this pick a card reading is going to be about um, the good stuff happening for you the next seven days. Okay, so we're going to be picking up on only positive, good, exciting, you know, abundant energy. It's coming in for you in the next seven days, okay? Let's manifest some good shit <laughs> this week. If you guys hear dripping in the background, that is my air conditioning. It just started leaking last night. <clears throat> and I know I shouldn't be using it while it's leaking, but um, I plan to call the air conditioning service guys tomorrow. So yeah, if you hear leaking, that's why. <laughs> So sit and chill out with me. All right. So we're going to be using a new deck for toppers. This one's called the Fountain Tarot. The good stuff happening for you in the next week. The good stuff happening for you in the next week, okay? Right, so pile number one. <clears throat> the good stuff happening for you in the next week. Pile number one, we have the Emperor. Okay. Pile number two. The good stuff happening for you in the, in the next seven days. We have death. All right. Hmm. Pile number one, we have the emperor. Pile number two, we have death. Okay. So once you are ready, um, you can go ahead and choose your timestamps down below in the description box. And we can get straight into pile number one. Okay. Pile number one. You guys chose the emperor, okay? You could be dealing with, um, I'm hearing all the um, cardinal signs, okay? You could be dealing with Aries, Libra, Cancer, or Capricorn, all right? <clears throat> this could be your uh, signs. You're bossing up this week. This week could be very, you know, it, it could be a very successful week for you with Emperor. You have everything under control, I just heard. All right. You have everything under control. You have everything, you know, sorted out. I just heard everything sorted out. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling good. You're feeling like you're on top of things. You're feeling on top of the world. I just heard. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you are getting past some obstacles or it's not obstacles, but you know, like, um, it's almost like, you know, even if you have like little problems and issues cropping up here and there, you're going to be on top of it. I just heard. All right. It's like everything just goes smoothly for you guys this week. So, so the next seven days, the good stuff that, um, is happening for you. Right. So I want to be pick, I'm going to be picking one card out of these four decks that have lined up in front of me. So we're going to be looking into that. I don't know what's going on with my voice all of a sudden, right? Maybe you guys are going to speak up about something, okay? You are going to approach someone with a proposal. It could be a business proposal. It could be a proposal to connect. It could be anything like that. I just heard, all right? Um, one shuffle. One card. One shuffle. One card. Right. One shuffle. One card. One 
one shuffle card. All right. So you guys got family, friends, and guides. Okay. Family, friends, and guides. You got domination. Okay. And that is Sagittarius energy. All right. We have illumination. Okay. And we have youth. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so this week, I just heard it could be a very eventful week for you because you're dominating in some area of your life, I just heard, all right? You are definitely, you know, taking control of something. You are on top of things. Again, I just heard on top of things. I'm seeing this as two, you know, people wrestling, right? I don't know why they're naked, but yeah, they're wrestling naked. <laughs> Domination. Some of you could be getting frisky this week, okay? <laughs> With a Sagittarius energy. Some of you, you could have different, you know, beliefs and backgrounds because I'm seeing this as the, um, you know, this, this is the sign of the cross. This is the moon and the star. And then we have, you know, this is like different religious backgrounds, I just heard. Right, or different religious beliefs, or this is someone who has um, different. There's there's a contrast between the two of you when it comes to your backgrounds. I just heard, right? But the both of you complement each other. I just heard. All right, so this could be like a business partner because I'm seeing with youth here. All right, this is someone who, you know, um, probably has a very youthful energy. Right, you're gonna you're feeling very good this week. It's like it's like it's all shiny. It's like illumination, you know, things things coming to light, you know, good things that are coming to light. I'm hearing like there's a lot of sunlight coming through this week. You you could be experiencing really good weather, watching really nice sunsets, you know, really good weather because I'm seeing all this with blue skies, and then feeling really youthful, feeling active, feeling like everything you're on top of everything basically. Um, but there's this one area of your life where you are going to be able to overcome, all right? Uh, where you feel like maybe you've been hesitating on, right? I just heard maybe you've been asking, <clears throat> you've been asking the advice of your family, your friends, you know, your your guides, okay? If you have any guides, right? If you're aware of your guides, whether they be physical guides or non-physical, okay? But you're going to be able to dominate this this is a very i don't know whether yeah of course if you're watching this I'm, I'm sure you're very spiritual but there's something about your your intuition you know probably pushing you to do something get on top of something right because whatever this is is going to bring you to a state where you're feeling really like you're just on top of things you know i i i i figured that out i have found a solution to something. You're gonna be finding a solution to something that has been, you know, <clears throat> in the back of your mind, I just heard, but it's been, it's now co coming more forwards, I just heard, okay? Right? This friend of yours, all right, um, or this acquaintance, or this contact of yours, or even, uh, Take it where it resonates, right? Um, they could be, um, this could even be a crush because I'm seeing with youth here, it looks like two, two, two kids having an innocent crush on each other, right? And they're well-dressed. Again, there's something about the both of you coming from different backgrounds, but you look similar in a sense, like you, you, have, you have a similarity. These, because I'm seeing these two, you know, it's almost like your inner, your inner kids, right? Your inner child, your inner children, right? 
connect with each other. The number nine could be significant, okay? The number nine, the number six, and the number one. All right, let's look into tarot. The good stuff. Yeah. You're dominating definitely in some area of your life. Um, like you're coming out on top here. Illumination. Family, friends, and guides. You're going to be spending a lot of time with, you know, people who you consider family, right? Whether they're your friends or immediate family, whoever it is, okay? And it's a very... It's a very bright week for you. It's a, bright, it's a very bright next seven days for you. And you're going to feel like, wow, <laughs> I am powerful, okay? That's what I just heard. I'm proud of myself. That's, uh, yeah, I just heard I'm proud of myself. What is this? The Nine of Cups, yes. Wish fulfillment. Come on now. Look at that. Okay, wish fulfillment. Whatever this is, maybe you've been getting dreams about it. Maybe you have been daydreaming about it. Maybe you've been, you know, I just heard sats. Maybe you've been doing stay akin to sleep, you know, like you've been doing your meditation before bed, before bedtime. You've been, um, you know, getting into that drowsy alpha state and then making sure that you are, you know, filling up your, your subconscious mind when it's most suggestible, right? With good things. <laughs> yeah, and your guides, you know, you're, maybe you've been dreaming about this too. This is something that you see in your dreams, or this is something that you've seen in your dreams. You've, 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 you've had a premonition about it in your dreams, okay? We have the Four of Wands, but it came out on the blue side of the Four of Wands, all right? So again, I'm getting like with this, uh, it could have something to do with the home, okay? It could have something to do with the home. Um, yeah, you're going to be overcoming whatever this is. Yeah. Fixing stuff around the house, I just heard. Or reno not renovating, but yeah, some of you might be renovating. Um, not just renovations, but I just heard like rearranging furniture. <laughs> I, that's what I just heard, rearranging furniture. You could also be sp spending a lot of time with some, uh, yeah, you're going to be up with, with some friends this week. I just heard two of your friends want to meet up with you this week, okay, in the next seven days. Yes, exactly. Seven, uh, sorry, why did I see seven of cups? Um, we have the knight of cups, okay? The knight of cups. Again, seven of cups. I don't know why I said seven of cups, but again, seven of cups is like daydreaming. It's like day dreaming okay this is something that you have seen in your dreams that is going to play out and it's going to feel like deja vu all right that's what i just heard you're going to probably experience a lot of deja vu this week and you're going to you're going to be like oh, maybe i dreamt about it but i just don't remember when i dreamt it or just don't remember but you feel like something familiar is happening okay Some of you, you might meet someone new this week with the Knight of Cups. You might be going on a date, all right? And this is a really, like, this is a really good date. Like, you, you're, like, this date went well. I just heard, okay, this date is going to go well, okay, in the next week. It's going to be a very illuminating, you know, it's going to be a very eye-opening kind of date, all right? And it's going to make you feel very youthful. It's going to make you feel young. You guys... Part number one, you're having a great week, all right? The next seven days is going to be amazing for you. The Knight of Wands, look at that, passionate, the Knight of Wands. There's something about meeting someone at night. I just heard, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, come on now. The Wheel of Fortune, lucky, lucky week for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to keep that out. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles. Wow, the Lovers too. Okay, we have the Lovers. And the Ten of Pentacles, what? The Lovers, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. 
Okay. Amazing week, you guys. Things are working out in your favor. Things are shifting in your favor. Everything is working out in your favor this week. Everything, everything, like literally everything is working out in your favor. All right. Something that you have been trying to get past or um, uh, initiate. I just heard maybe you try. You were you want you wanted to start something, but you were hesitant. All right. Or maybe you wanted to talk to someone, but you're hesitant. You maybe you want to. Um, speak to someone all right but you were hesitant you're going to get over that hesitancy i don't see fear at all it's not that you fear talking to this person or approaching someone or getting uh, or dealing with this issue it could be anything like i said it has something to do with the home or a relationship here or someone that you want to um pursue because i'm seeing with the knight of wands and the knight of cups here this is the this is two people, okay, feeling very youthful with each other. And you guys, I'm seeing like it's it's you guys are gonna meet like in the middle of the night, you know, like having a rendezvous with each other. <laughs> right? And I'm I'm hearing like maybe you guys go out clubbing or dancing or go out, you know, seeing the city lights or the sights and sounds and whatever it is you're going yeah you could be dating okay and with the night of wands you're going to feel very passionate very like uh yeah fun i just heard fun this week is going to be fun for you right you're going to be full of curiosity you're go you guys are going to be asking each other so many questions right um, you might even start talking about family, like your family values and stuff. The, the conversations are just flowing. I just heard, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune here, again, I just just keep taking care of yourself, pile number one. You've been taking care of yourself. You deserve all of this. You deserve to have a great week. You deserve to have an abundant week. And that's exactly what you're going to have, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles here. Some of you, you might be getting new clothes or a new wardrobe or new... There's a lot of new stuff that's coming through, all right? And with the Ten of Pentacles, like, this is like, you know, financial abundance. So everything is great this week for you guys. Just because you look good doesn't make a lie. Just because you feel Good. I still want you here tonight. Want you. I love this. I love this energy. It's it, be excited, pal number one. Be excited. This is an amazing week for you guys. Amazing. All right. On top of things. Um, your relationships your, with your family, with your friends, your relationships are getting better. You're seeing this in your dreams. You're going to be having good dreams too. There's something about having good dreams this week, all right? And you might be, you know, with the lovers here, like if you are dating around or if you're going to be dating, right, you could most definitely meet the one here or you're going out with someone who has the potential to be the one for you, all right? Okay, you're, the potential to be your SP. Okay. And this is the kind of relationship that's going to make you feel driven, youthful, um, young, passionate, um, you know, full of it. In, it's inspiring. That's what I just heard. This is this is a relationship that is inspiring. And with illumination here, it's going to make you, you know, it's going to fill you up with new ideas about the future right <clears throat> yeah you guys i see that you know even though this is just your next seven days but with the ten of pentacles this is like long-term energy okay this is someone who's bringing in who's looking for something long-term with you too you know this is for those of you who are dating if not if you're not dating you're definitely going to go out have fun with your friends maybe you'll flirt with someone new you know you go out and you meet someone new and you're just flirting <laughs> right and feeling feeling good feeling good about yourself feeling confident feeling feeling attractive you know feeling magnetic feeling yeah 
Great energy pile number one. I'm going to end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. Oh, um, before I go, I forgot to say the signs. Uh, we have, I said just now, all the cardinal signs, Aries, Libra, um, what's that? Capricorn and Cancer. We also have Sagittarius. Um, we have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. We also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Knight of Cups um yeah gemini with the lovers what else again sagittarius with the wheel of fortune and that's it you guys thank you so much for coming to my reading i hope that reading resonated with you if it didn't resonate with you go ahead and choose another pal if it did resonate with you remember to like comment share subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading from me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for the comments for every single thing i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and i will see you in my next video okay bye hi pal number two so you guys chose the card death right some of you might be dealing with a scorpio or you could have strong scorpio energy in your sun moon rising venus north node all right with death here um you might be ending something all right this week but it's going to lead you into a lot of good luck right a good good stuff all right um even though you know maybe you're feeling a little bit burnt out i just heard like i feel like death right now like i feel like really tired you know maybe the past week has really you know drained you or put you through something um difficult with death here it's like you know you're you're you were going through a transformation process and you maybe had to you know uh shed certain beliefs or whatever it is right people places things um to complete this death process okay all right Hmm. putting an end to something or deciding to anyways once you've decided when you have decided the universe and you know it just comes together to bring this about for you and i think in the next seven days um this is what's happening for you uh you shouldn't be afraid this is something that you have chosen um yeah you chose it you've decided upon it okay and it's a good thing for you hmm. okay this could definitely be in terms of relationship or job situation okay All right, so I'm going to be choosing one card from each of these uh, decks. I've already shuffled, so I'm not going to shuffle again. Just going to randomly choose. Right, so we have playing it safe. Okay, we have caution. Right, caution. We have house. Okay, and we have <clears throat> vision. Okay, so maybe you're putting an end to a living situation here, all right? You've been playing it safe in wherever it is that you are at. You've been too, too, too isolated. I, I just heard some of you might be getting out of the house, okay, this week. Maybe you've been spending too much time in the house 
and you've been feeling like death i just heard you've been feeling like death you've been feeling like oh my god i just don't want to meet people this week you are going to want to meet people even though you're feeling a little bit like with caution here you're feeling hesitant or you're feeling like oh my god i don't want to go out maybe i don't want to leave the house or whatever it is but with vision here there's something that you might get an idea i just heard you know you know you might get an idea to go somewhere your intuition will push you to go um to an event to if your friends I just heard your friends might might invite you to some house party, I just heard, or something like that, and you might go, but you're just, you're not feeling it, I just heard, you might force yourself to go, but um, Spirit is saying whether you go or not, uh, you're being asked to, you know, try and get out of the house a bit in the next seven days, <laughs> that's what I just heard, okay? Yeah, because you're 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 being too cautious or you're being too 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 much to yourself. Okay, I just heard like you might need some, you know, human interaction in the next seven days. Maybe you already know this, okay? With vision here, you're 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 like, yeah, I should get out. You know, I should I should get out and see the world. Maybe you've been being been, been indoors for far too long. I just heard. Playing it safe. Maybe you're putting an end to be to playing it safe. You're putting a death to being too cautious about things or being too cautious around people. You know, you don't want to play it safe anymore. I just heard with death here. And then you you might be putting an end to a living situation where, you know, you're you're you maybe you've decided that you want to move elsewhere or you've decided that. I don't know, maybe you want to move somewhere where it's warmer or maybe somewhere near the water. heard that again land of the rising sun so japan could be significant okay we have the six of cups okay six of cups magician Okay, so we have um, <clears throat> the Three of Pentacles, okay, the Three of Pentacles and the Chariot. Some of you are letting go of like a house, home situation so that you can go travel, okay, with the Chariot here. You're letting go of a home situation, maybe with the Three of Pentacles here, you are going to be able to uh i don't know if you're looking for someone to stay at your place or you're looking for a roommate or you're looking for something uh, yeah it could be a roommate here all right um with the three of pentacles or you're waiting for a package i just heard you're waiting for a package and you've been staying at home way too long <laughs> um you are meant to be there's something that you're meant to be taking action on it's going to help you with your manifestations but you're being a little bit cautious about it Okay, with Magician in Caution here, all right, um, you're playing it safe. Spirit is saying you're playing it too safe. You've been in the house, cooked up in the house for far too long. It's almost like, yeah, oh, why isn't it focusing? Focus. Yeah, okay, so that looks like, you know, um, being alone, keeping to yourself, even though the Six of Cups is, yeah, being being stuck in memories, you know, it's almost like memories of the past or something that keep haunting you and you're you're like, yeah, and you you need to get out. <laughs> I just heard you need to get out, but you've, you're feeling a little bit cautious right now because you, you don't see that you're manifesting. I'm hearing like you, you're manifesting a better situation for yourself, 
but you need to stop being so cautious about everything. Okay? You have a vision, you, you have a vision to move on. There's something about moving on here or traveling. And with house, house and uh, the three of pentacles here, there's something about, I don't know, like maybe you're going to settle something with a housemate or um, maybe a housemate is moving or it could be, yeah, you, it could be that a housemate is moving out. I just heard they could be moving out, okay? Hmm. Or maybe you're you're cautious about bending energy to your will, I just heard. Yeah, because you've been playing it too safe. Yeah, with the three of pentacles here, something is going to be figured out in the home in the home life. Maybe you're going to be spending some time with a housemate here. Are you going to come to an agreement with a housemate? Or there, there could be a gift here. Because two of these, there's two people in this, uh, both of them are holding boxes. Okay, okay right? Both of them are holding like boxes. So there is a package. There could be a package that you're waiting for. And after you get this package or after you get this, this thing, this mail, this uh, whatever it is that you're waiting on, whether you ordered it or whether you're waiting on news, email, some sort of message regarding a home situation, okay, you're going to receive that and then it's going to help you move on. Maybe you do have visions to go travel elsewhere and you're going to be victorious about this, okay, with the six of wands, but it could have ha it could have been a little bit taxing on you. With the six of wands here, that's the six of wands that is um, the dark side of the six of wands, right? The, the yeah, right? So it's, it's, you're going to be successful with whatever this is, but I guess you're going to have to, you know, um, <laughs> I just heard, um, endure some, I don't know, irrita irritating situations or having to meet irritating people, you know, yeah. But the only reason why you've been so, you know, irritated is because you've been, you know, staying at home for way too long. You need to get out. You've been playing it safe far too long. Because if you go out, I'm see, I'm hearing like when you go out, you, it's almost like things, you magnetize things to you, you know. Yeah. A package will be arriving if you're at home. Um, some sort of package that you are anticipating is going to arrive. Okay. <laughs> this week. Even though this uh, week might be, you know, a little bit. It's not forceful, it's, but, but if, it feels like you, you, you seem to have to take up more energy to, to inspire yourself to go get up and do something or go get up and get out of the house right but you're going to be able to do that i just heard all right you're going to find the energy to do it and go take a road trip or go traveling or go go somewhere nice near the water you know <clears throat> Okay, so pal number two, these, this is the good luck, you know, the good stuff that's happening for you this week, all right? Uh, yeah, get out of the house. 
maybe some of you have been cooped up in the house for far too long. You need to get out and, you know, stop being so cautious about, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're being too cautious about manifesting or trying to, to you, you're, you've been too, 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 focused on something to the point where you just, you know, you need to let go of it for a bit. Spirit scene, go out and have fun. Even if you don't feel like it, <laughs> all right? Because it's gonna bring you some sort of uh, good luck here, okay? Yeah. You found stay in the spirit I found stay in the night would be All right, pile number two, I think I'm going to end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. Oh, I forgot to call the signs again. All right, so we have Scorpio energy, we have Gemini energy, we have Cancer, Cancerian energy, we have Pisces energy. Okay, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Um, thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for the comments, for every single thing. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye.